Your eyewitness weather forecast. Hey, good evening today. I'm meteorologist Craig Flynn. So, uh, clouds have been steadily on the increase. Uh, and these weak systems approaching, but they're actually riding up over top of this area of high pressure to the west, which is really heating up mid country. We'll talk about that in a moment. That's downtown now, and 66 is where we are perched with the southeast wind, which that's also going to be key to the forecast. I'll tell you why in a moment. So there could be a couple showers around tonight, mainly to the west, low temperature near 60. Quite a few clouds tomorrow. Maybe some limited peaks of sun. There will be scattered showers at times, meaning it's not going to rain every hour all the time. Maybe even a few thunderstorms late. Now that southeast wind, gusty, 10 to 20 miles an hour. So we'll see about 72, probably somewhere upper 60s to 70-ish. The focus of the rain this evening ha has been to the west, Erie, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Cleveland, Ashtabula, Ohio, Detroit Motor City, those areas dealing with the wet weather. Uh, staying to the west of us for right now, mid-60s at last check here, Utica, Rome, down to Little Falls in the low 60s and into Otsego County as well, 61 Springfield, Worcester, 62 Oneonta, and mid-50s, Indian Lake to Blue Mountain Lake and 57 in Old Forge. So here's a look at uh, satellite Doppler weather radar, and you can see again that cluster of wet weather uh, here moving south, kind of in this direction. So uh, again, the focus has been to the south and west of us, but there could be a few showers overnight, especially to the west as this tremendous ridge of high pressure uh, just is camping out over mid-country. The end result, hot weather, sweltering heat, advisories, uh, these are for heat extending from Dallas up through the Mid Mississippi Valley, Memphis, St. Louis, Chicago, Omaha, all mid-country here, 100 plus. All right, so here's a look at Tropical Storm Franklin. Latest is 45 mile per hour tropical storm as it recurves out into the Atlantic Ocean and then kind of does a loop-de-loop -loop and uh, heads back to the north and west. Just to the west of Bermuda, it becomes a Category 2 hurricane. I doubt that it makes landfall anywhere in the United States. However, this could have an indirect impact on our weather, and we'll tell you why coming up. So there are your scattered showers tomorrow. Again, it's not all day, every hour. Breezy, quite a few clouds, some limited peaks of sun. You can see as we get into the late afternoon, there's a better chance of showers and a few thunderstorms. Uh, temperatures will be in the upper 60s to low 70s. Scattered shower in early Friday morning, then gradual clearing, but there's still some lingering instability running around. So maybe another shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. Snapshot and look ahead to Labor Day weekend. It's going to stay cool. Hot weather suppressed west. And uh, as we head into the unofficial end of summer, it looks like it's going to be cool. Hey, sunsets are setting on the longer daylight, unfortunately. Today's Sunset 7.51. By November, it's 4.30. No fun, right? That's where we're going. So we'll have some showers around tomorrow. A few showers Friday. A few more showers Saturday. Maybe a rumble of thunder. Uh, and look, as we go into next week, I mean, we've got a couple of nice days there, Sunday and Monday. Then into next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, could be interesting because Franklin will be loitering somewhere off the eastern seaboard, which could cause uh, some unsettled weather, at least in terms of some of that moisture working its way over central New York by mid next week. We will keep you posted. All right, we got to take a quick break. Eyewitness News continues right after this.